Will Facebook read your WhatsApp messages? Why am I asking this question? It's because of a pop-up that many of you may have received. Let me show you what the message looked like. Did you get this on your WhatsApp? It says, WhatsApp is updating its terms and privacy policy. And right at the bottom, there is a button to accept the new terms. Now, most people would just go ahead and accept it, press that button. They will not bother reading what WhatsApp is changing under the hood. And I don't blame them. We've all been there. These privacy notes, often drafted by lawyers, are, ve are very hard to understand. Plus, you don't really have a choice if you want to stay on the platform. They'll keep popping up and blocking your way until you accept. So you do. It's the easier thing to do. But this time, you must know what you're signing up for. Facebook is changing WhatsApp as you know it. And you should know what this means for you. The new rules will kick in next month. And if you don't accept this new policy, you will have to delete the app. So either play along or leave WhatsApp. I'm not saying this. WhatsApp is. There's a warning attached right at the bottom of the message. This is like placing a gun to your head. So before you accept, here is what you need to know. WhatsApp plans to gather more data about you. Does that mean reading your messages? Well, not yet. At least they haven't said it. But they've devised other ways to intrude in your life. Let me show you what the new privacy policy will allow Facebook to do. It will be able to gather a lot more information about you, your account information, which in this case means your phone number, your address book information, so all your contacts, your status information. This could be messages like available or busy that go right below your profile. That's your status. All the data on your transactions and payments, that's because this will be linked to their new feature, WhatsApp payments. So they'll be able to track all your payments, all your, uh, all your transactions and customer support communications. This could be messages you exchange with a business on WhatsApp. Facebook will be able to access all of this from your phone. And we are not done yet. There is more information about you that WhatsApp could collect with these changes, this new policy, like data about your usage, the kind of phone you use, even your location. So what kind of financial data does WhatsApp want? WhatsApp wants to access your bank account. It may not happen directly. There might be an inter intermediary involved, but they will have the access. WhatsApp would be able to move funds from your account and gather details about the transaction, what you're paying, who you're paying to, when you want the delivery. They will have all that information. Basically, Facebook wants to know how and where you spend your money. 